Well, with travel out of the question because of the lockdown, I thought for this episode of Roglog, we'd have a trip down memory lane. Some highlights from a couple of trips to the marvellous country of Montenegro. Fancy joining me? <laughs> Welcome to Rog Vlog. Our flight took us over Croatia before we descended into Montenegro, flying over Skarda Lake before we began our final approach. Already I could see the mountains that framed the countryside. Welcome to Podgorica, the capital of Montenegro. The city looks stunning in the afternoon sun and I arrived at the Hilton Hotel to check into my room. Well, this is home for the next four days. I went for a quick walk round the city and came across this gorgeous square with a fabulous fountain and it looked amazing in the late afternoon sun. Back to the hotel and up to the rooftop sky bar. There are views across the city at dusk superb and I was absolutely gagging for a beer and it didn't disappoint. <laughs> Next on the itinerary was a trip high into the mountains to the Ostrog Monastery. We're here at the monastery and we have been in a bus going round a twisty twiny road for about the last hour. We are so high up. I love how the monastery was built into the sheer cliff face and the scenery is just incredible. A quiet moment of reflection. That was quite an experience. It's so calm and tranquil, high up here in the mountains. And now we're heading to a vineyard. More incredible scenery. I was really getting a feel for how beautiful Montenegro is. This is the Lipovac winery, and we're gonna be tasting some white wine, red wine, and as you would expect, rosé. But I believe that one of the grapes is very much like Zinfandel and Primitivo. So I'm really looking forward to this tasting. An incredible combination of smells in here wooden casks, pot casks, and wine. And after the tour of the winery, it was time to sit down and taste this incredible red wine. Absolutely delicious. This is the best bit. And we're here in the city of Kotor and the mountains surrounding this town are just stunning, absolutely stunning. Now, we are facing a bit of a challenge because up there, 
there's a castle which everybody recommends that you climb up to. And it's really, really hot, so I'm not sure that we're going to be able to climb all the way up there. The narrow streets of Kotor led to very steep stairs built into the cliff face. The higher you climb, the more incredible the view becomes. And this must be one of the most incredible views in the entire world. Kotor Bay. Well, that's probably one of the hardest climbs I have ever done in my entire life and in 40 degrees heat as well. But the views are absolutely stunning. And from the summit, the easier trek back down to the town. We made it safely down and this oh, well deserved. I really enjoyed those memories of Montenegro, such an amazing country. Once the lockdown's over, I hope I can get back there and maybe try out the Montenegrin seaside, Tavat and Porto Montenegro. If you enjoyed this episode of Rog Vlog, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> <laughs>